Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Uh, nowadays, there's a new trend on LinkedIn. And the trend is whenever any UE expat or Indian or anybody goes to the Middle East or UE and they try to apply for jobs and they try for one month, two month, three month, whatever. And finally, when they don't get a job, what they do is they start putting a long, lengthy tirade of a litany of complaints about UAE. Oh, what is this? I have a degree. I have experience. I applied for every single company for four months, more than 100,000 CVs. And I only got uh, four interviews. And uh, this is the situation of the market. Please don't mislead people uh, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Okay, very long, huh? lengthy. A professional like me who has, who gets job offers in India, you mean to say that I'm not qualified here and blah, blah, blah. Okay. And below that, he has his pity party, you know, pitiful people who party with him. Oh man, I know the UAE market, they are only fooling people. This guy also cheated me, that guy, blah, 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 boo, hoo, hoo. Uh, be strong, brother. I'm pretty sure you must have seen this. And people, oh, uh, everyone knows. And if it's a lady, oh, all the men in the shiny armor, please send me your CV. Let me see what I can do for you. Of course, after all, it's a girl, right? Female. So men have to try their chance, right? But obviously, if it's a man, who the hell cares? Now, this is not about men versus women. Okay. You know, in one of these uh, posts that I saw, what I did is I sent that guy a private mail. I said, please email me your profile. Let me have a look. After all, he has bad mouthed UAE and bad mouthed the market. And, you know, he has incredible experience and he's a professional with demand. He sent me a CV along with a email. You could make out that the email was copy pasted. Pretty long cover letter. Okay. That email cover letter was full of superlatives about how great he is dedicated professional with an eye for this thing and a vision and saved so much money and worked with billion dollar companies and uh, transcended to the next level of leadership and being an epitome of success and blah 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 half the words I had to check a thesaurus okay great fantastic fantastic oh like Russell Peter says mind blasting my brains fell out that much praise he had he was so great legendary figure and after reading i think how many i think 200 or 250 words or 300 words whatever okay after that i checked his resume oof oh the shine was so much i got blinded in an eye he had a pose like this like this, huh? with a suit. And obviously, the photographer said, oh, Sir, put your nose a little up. He put his nose a little up. And you're like this. Wow. What a pose. CEO. CEO CV. Very professionally done photograph. Oof. Must have paid at least $200 for it. Or maybe $100. Okay. Definitely not Photoshop. Okay. 
and his name was in big letters, very big letters. It's like, uh, you know, like Superman. And below that, he had his, you know, his profile, a visionary leader, visionary, who has challenged the frontiers of uh, obstacles and blah, blah. Wow, I read an epic tale of Mahabharata, Ramayana, of uh, Star Wars. Big paragraph about how great he is. With superlative, dedication, discipline, determination. See the alliteration. Dedication, discipline, determination, DDD, 3Ds, and die hard attitude. Oh, I had to take a toilet break and come back after reading that paragraph. And then after that long paragraph, his expertise or core competency. Oh, oh, so painful. This guy knew HR, logistics, sales, marketing, team building, communication, uh, business expansion, business development, uh, training, mentoring. Oh my goodness. So, you know, if <laughs> I, I really felt like writing a letter to Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Please, if you take this guy, your company will reach the hundred trillion dollar. In fact, this one guy, he was so good. I felt maybe in the company only he was doing all the roles and he was in every department and he knew every skill. Oh. And then obviously his work experience. Oh. Since the day he was born, he put everything. His current company is so big, big. You know, I felt like I was reading a CEO's profile. Then previous company was, and noteworthy achievements, and then awards. He was an award-winning employee. Award, you know, he put that word also, award-winning employee. Okay. And yes, in the end, he had to, you know, give the final climax. He knows Word, Excel, PowerPoint, email, all, all softwares, everything. He had many belts. Uh, black belt, white belt, Six Sigma, green belt, everything, everything. He was a one-stop shop. You didn't need any other employee in your company other than him. Around four pages. Font size was, I think, around uh, 10 or whatever. Okay, his autobiography he gave. You know, when you do something like this, your positioning yourself as God's gift to mankind, you're overselling something. Who the hell is going to buy it, man? I mean, who you're trying to bullshit? See, here's the thing. Who are you trying to bullshit? Are you trying to tell the CEO you're an employee who has made millions and bi for a billion dollar company? You're so great. The CEO will say, why don't you start your own company if you're so great? In fact, a simple common sense, if a manager were to read, let's assume all this is true, and a manager were to read it, he'll be like, bloody hell, man. This guy is miles above me, miles. If I give him a job under me, he might end up replacing me. That is what people in the Middle East think, you know, the expats. Shit, man, if I give this guy a job, my job will go. Why should someone invite competition? You know this, you read in management, always employ someone better than you. I'm sorry, in the corporate world, you start employing people who are better than you, the management will make him your boss and he'll demote you. And that is a fact, that is a reality. Tomorrow if there's cost cutting, they'll say, oh, this guy is better than him, throw this guy out. So nobody wants competition. So as it is, the CEO will not be impressed when you're trying to bullshit with him because he has seen everything. Then a guy lower than him will think, this is my competition, he is overselling himself. And then the, what are you writing, a bloody autobiography, what are you writing so much, man? Oversell, oversell, oversell. And the best part, not in his post that he put, not a single area, 
not a single place was there a doubt that maybe i need to change something i need to work on the, maybe my strategy is wrong maybe my approach is wrong maybe my approach might work in india but not in another country he was one idiot then there was this female i'll give another example which is the stark opposite good looking female and she was saying that same same bullshit oh i applied and men are only uh, you know talking indecent and they want to meet up for coffee and so it's like okay fine let me check this female's profile send her a dm she asked me obviously are you a uh, recruitment company or what she was very defensive i said google search my name you'll come to know who i am and automatically immediately she said okay fine sorry i i want to know you're not one of those other men okay she sent me her cv you remember i told you she also complained talking about men all being indecent and just wanting to meet her meet up with her for coffee you know okay she wanted a managerial position for admin or whatever her profile she has put a nice big photograph big one really big i mean i think uh, her cv a4 size you divide it into four okay one full area one full area that bigger photograph she has put with her nice little dress nice cleavage oof like this popping out and she looks nice beautiful hair beautiful luscious lips you you put something like that all the sex starved men who are there what do you think they are going to notice first in fact to tell you honestly that photograph stood out much more than the content it was very distracting even i was like oh no 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 mama instead of looking at the content i was looking oh wow nice big ones nice big ones i don't know if it is natural or not nice way very beautiful female okay finally i had to cover that area to read and what is the content worked in an airline cabin crew travel the world hobbies she has put uh, skiing um uh, interacting with people she has put her uh, hobbies interacting getting to know people and networking and she knows uh, softwares like uh, windows softwares huh she knows ms word ms excel ms powerpoint she knows photoshop okay uh, uh education she has some degree somewhere okay nice nice cabin crew and from cabin crew she wanted manager oh by the way did i tell you her salary expectation something around uh, like 6000 dollars or no experience in the corporate world only in the airline world now she was bitching moaning and complaining about all men approaching her sexually and wanting to meet her up cup of coffee and ue market sucks and salary suck and men are this and that and <sighs> yeah you put something like this what do you expect man? last if not the least one final one again another indian guy complaining complaining big 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 nonsense so curiosity asked him his cv <laughs> engineer he has put his photo like like you, you know when you taking a mug shot of a criminal he has put his photo there typical uh, this thing engineer i worked as this that this that whatever in his case it was i think two pages and best part was his cv had grammatical mistakes uh on top of that there was nothing it's it's like for example if i ask you can you google search what an engineer does let's say civil engineer and you copy paste that that is what he has copy pasted on his cv that he does an engineering job when you give a cv like that 
and obviously he'll expect a better salary and he didn't get the job offer with the salary he expected he got maybe half of that he was bitching and moaning given the fact that there's an excess an excess number of engineers and a declining number of projects and there are so many people with uae experience who are searching for a job you expect you come down from india with that indianish cv you want to get a job and then the best part is after i asked him cv and all that he sends me another mail uh i i read about your profile online how much money you will take for uh, uh your service as to what service do you want no i want uh, a job i said i do resume rebranding okay he said okay i'll pay you i said fine i can do resume rebranding but i am not going to i have wanted to be very clear i'm not going to take your money and give you a job he then he's telling me no if you're not giving me a job what i'll do with resume rebranding he wanted the job on a platter with the salary he expected i said boss listen go contact someone else he's saying you know my agent if i pay him money he'll give me no you should pay him pay him pay him the money he'll give you a job see overall what i want to tell you through this video is stop complaining stop bitching and moaning stop blaming the system stop blaming the uae has so many jobs at the moment so many new companies so many new offers if you're not getting it's your fault if you're not getting a good salary it's because you have done something wrong if nobody's bothered to even look into you your profile means your strategy sucks or your resume sucks or you suck and you need to improve on this simply blaming the whole world and crying and inviting a pity party what the fuck is going to do man on grow up man yeah. these stupid individuals and then they blame the whole world except themselves whole world everyone's bad only i'm good anyway what i want to tell you through this is a very simple message there are thousands and thousands of people getting jobs every single day if not thousands at least tens getting a much better salary than what they were expecting how is it possible they are getting you are not getting means it's not the system it's you take personal responsibility don't blame point fingers at others look into yourself and see how you can improve and last but not the least if you even after asking people that you know even after asking contacts connection even after google even after every single thing if you are not still able to get please contact a professional forget me you might say oh he's trying to market my oh, fine go get someone else at least ask a professional huh? you're trying to self medicate yourself it's not working end of the day you have to go to a doctor right see what matters in the end is not who you go to did you achieve the result not achieving the result start using this common sense and if that is not there then don't blame people for uncommon results having said that let me know your thoughts and opinions down below so may sign off is take care